Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a reading that I wanted to do for whoever is meant to watch this. Angels, guides, positive energies only. Spirit, Archangel Michael. The sun card, yes, you are protected. The light beings are here. The star seeds are here. The planetary transits. And with the sun card, we're in Leo season. So what is the message from... What is the message from Spirit, excuse me, <laughs> for this Leo season? Wow. Okay, so two cards flipped out. The first one is the Knight of Pentacles. If there's something that you're trying to work towards with regards to your finances, slow and steady wins the race. You've probably been hearing people say that a lot. And then look with the Three of Cups, victory and success, mind, body, and spirit. So that is a general message for the collective. Something that you've been wanting to manifest is finally going to happen. With regards to a financial situation, people are going to be praising you with the Three of Cups, a celebration, happiness, new friends, new connections, social networking is what I'm getting. But the overall message is very positive with regards to Leo season. What I did want to do a reading on was regarding, sorry guys, I rolled the window down a little bit, need some air. So let's see, you guys might um, be going through some intuitive yeah, you guys are going to be getting a download with the Ace of Swords. I heard you're going to get an intuitive download through a dream or through synchronicities, or you're just going to know when you hear a message and it's like, oh my goodness, and it's going to be a very exciting message. It's nothing negative. This information that the universe, the divine will be giving you is actually going to help you. It's like seeing light at the end of the tunnel. It's going to bring a lot of truth and happiness. It's a good message. There are messages in the clouds as well. For those of you who have been drawn to like looking at the clouds lately. But what I wanted to say um, initially, because there's side messages, I know I haven't posted a reading in a little bit, but I needed a break. <laughs> but anyhow, I hope you guys had a wonderful new moon. And also, um, thank you again to everybody who helped with um, being a part of the, the new moon protection candle ceremony. That was a huge success, and I really felt the good energy being sent out to everyone. So I feel like um, I just wanted to say thank you. Yeah, with the magician, you guys were all connected energetically to protect yourself. The intention was very strong and it was definitely a success. All of those burdens that, and I heard an alarm or a car horn or no, it was an alarm when you push the button and it's like, dun, dun. like that's what I heard. All the burdens that people were sending you with energetic attacks this wanted to go upside down so it's like to make you feel like you don't have enough judgment was called to make you feel unmotivated all that was returned to sender with the eight of wands and now there's like a clear path ahead for you to just move forward yeah look at with the king of pentacles so i feel like that reversal return to sender protection candle work that we did was very successful so that's very exciting um there's a lot going on on your guys's mind. You've been thinking, contemplating things recently. Make sure you have a journal or a notebook to no write it down. I heard and take notes because you're getting a lot of messages, downloads. These ideas in your head are important and you need to write it down. But back to the beginning, which I can't seem to get to that message. <laughs> you have a karmic mother-in-law or a karmic ex baby daddy or an ex husband, someone that you lived with that's karmic. Yeah, with the emperor. This emperor was um, very controlling in the past, causing burdens with the Ten of Wands. I'm getting someone could have dreamed about this person wanting to come back with the Knight of Swords because um, there's something about a karmic ex that doesn't want, like, the spirit help me get this fucking message out because it's like a delay, it's confusion, it's causing like it's slow motion. No, none of that. <clears throat> so basically, What's going on is you could have had a dream about a karmic ex or a mother-in-law that's trying to steal your money, trying to keep you stuck in the past. This person is trying to cause blockages. This was someone that you were romantically involved with. It's like their mother in your ex-mother-in-law or your ex-husband. This person is trying to cause issues in your life. And the message or the download was basically this person cannot come near you anymore. Yeah, with the Ten of Wands. Again, so many burdens that this person caused you in the past. It's like this person cannot come near you anymore. And it was like a, a vision, a dream is what I'm going to call it, where someone wanted to come inside your home and they were not allowed. And all they were doing is kind of like lurking around outside to see what they could find out. 
because with the Knight of Wands, you have found your passion, your motivation. It's like your sacral chakra, your solar plexus, and your root chakra have been cleansed, healed, and reactivated. So this person cannot connect with you energetically, and they cannot send you anything negative, whether that's them just sending you the evil eye, or if they're actually magicians or doing magic against you. It's not successful. This person is blocked. It's like you guys have a boundary. You're inside your home, and nobody can come inside. They're not allowed it's kind of like energy vampire right like you know vampires in general 505 angel number there are significant changes you have in the beginning but vampires can't come in your house unless you invite them in right so this is like an energy vampire in the spiritual speaking sense right where this energy vampire cannot come into your home they're not welcome because your home is protected your home is boundaries yeah with the page of cups this person is very childish and foolish or um immature the magician wanted to come out and this person thought that they could come back into your space, but they can't because they didn't realize how strongly protected you are now because this person thinks you're still very naive or you're just very stupid. Or this person thinks that you're not smart and you are. You're the, the exact opposite. As a matter of fact, you're highly intelligent. You are not naive. You are very well versed is what I'm getting. And you are very magical. So you are protecting yourself in every way, shape and form. And yeah, with the justice card Libra energy, this person is getting karma. And the dream that you had is basically saying they cannot get in your space. They can't get in your house, 555 angel number in any way shape or form because your angels and guides spirit your whole spiritual team is protecting you so this person can't come near you another side message for someone who is actually going through a psychic attack or spiritual battle with someone that they know was their ex and that you for in fact know that you're being attacked this ex person is not going to be able to connect with you the magic is backfiring if they sent you some type of entity attachment or some type of negative entity this entity can only watch you from the outside and they cannot come into your home because your home is protected look at that see with the seven of swords whoever they sent to come towards you they cannot approach you because you're already aware and i'm also getting you have a spirit animal or a familiar or some type of energy that is protecting you like a bodyguard it protects your home and this negative energy that wanted to come through it's like no trespassing they can't even stand on your doorstep because they can't get through because your spiritual team is shielding and protecting your home the knight of cups that's damn true i heard damn straight so yes that's definitely what's happening here but whoever tried to hurt you in the past if they've been doing spell work on you and you've been having a constant battle with someone and you know for a fact that it could be like your ex-family from like an ex-relationship or their ex-in-laws or this could actually be your ex-partner this person is blocked because spirit has blessed you with some type of spiritual level up and you're heavily protected this person is very negative with the devil card and this next card that wants to come out is the knight of wands this person wants to take your creativity your happiness your abundance your life of like having passion for your future your motivation this person is trying to take from you but this person is not going to be successful they cannot steal your energy energy harvesting energy vampire whatever the hell you want to call it they can't take from you anymore yeah look at because this person is blocked your spiritual team is protecting you this person is blocked you're a strong empath you already know some of these people could have been trying to do fertility spells and you're wondering why you're getting stomach cramps or why do you feel like shit? They're getting readings on you as well because these cards flipped out. I'm going to show you. It was the Eight of Pentacles. Always looks like a tarot reader trying to figure out what the message is, but I feel like it's these people spying on you. But with the Seven of Wands, which I'm also getting is the Return to Sender candles that you guys have been doing. I'm also getting any type of protection candles like the candle group ceremony that you guys participated in. For those of you who did participate, this was a strong protection energy for you all as well to get rid of this person's negative energy that they're sending towards you because they're trying to keep you stuck, but you are not stuck. You're actually moving forward. Yeah, with the moon, you're highly intuitive very connected this person could be a cancer pisces scorpio i'm seeing taurus virgo capricorn really all of the signs is what i'm getting yep with the king of wands this person is watching you gain strength be connected to the divine highly protected your home is protected in all times and places with the ten of wands the burdens of this person try to come send to you are over with the ten of swords for some of you this person came to your house and you dreamed of them while they were at your house because spirit was trying to warn you in your dream state that this person was lurking around but your spiritual team your spirit animals the crows the ravens all of your spiritual magical forces on your side protected you and put an end to whatever burdens whatever bullshit this person was like carrying to take to you was stopped 10 10 9 11 on the clock archangel michael protected you and your home they tried to fuck you up on this new moon but it didn't happen because look you have angels protecting you you have a past loved one protecting you and yeah look at libra justice karma whoever tried to cause this bs in your space to you is blocked because look the energy has already shifted with the wheel of fortune and with the queen of wands 
you're heavily protected by a ancestor or a feminine deity goddess is what I'm getting with this um, queen of wands energy and the card behind her is the death card some of you guys could have santa muerte who is protecting and guarding your home and this person was not aware of it or this person was very foolish and they're like yeah 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 right they don't have anybody on their side they're just talking a bunch of nonsense well they called your bluff and guess what now they have karma and yeah they didn't believe they're like whatever do, do, do. i'm gonna go and do my magic anyways because they don't know what the hell they're talking about they went to do the magic 10 10 and your ancestors were like come on in come on over you want to play? Come over. Let's see what happens. And this person's like, oh, shit. They didn't realize how protected you are. They thought you were lying. They thought you were just talking out of your ass. But you were not. You are definitely connected. You're very gifted. And you have a strong spiritual team protecting you. Look at that. Nine of Cups. I'm hearing, cheers, motherfucker. Try me. This person cannot take from you. This person is blocked. And this person, when they try to do magic... They were in for a rude awakening because all of your ancestors, all of your spiritual team was there to protect you. And now this person is shook. They're like, holy shit. Now they're going to know who you are. I have goosebumps all over my legs. So your ancestors are here and they protected you from something you did not even see. They tried to warn you in your dream state, but because you were sleeping, your ancestors and your spiritual team stepped in and they protected you when you were not even aware of it. And they protected you from this hatred person who was jealous of your beauty, jealous of your light, jealous of your gifts, jealous of your abundance, jealous of your blessings, jealous of your connection to the divine. I have goosebumps all over my freaking arms, you guys, and it is like freaking 80 degrees here. I have goosebumps everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this just means your angels, your ancestors are here protecting you, your ancestors. I'm hearing the ancestors, the ancestors. You guys may have chanted that you are protected or you may have reached out to your ancestors for protection because you knew there's some crazy psychic shit going on and you didn't really know what the hell it was, but you knew it was not good. Your intuition was telling you that this weird feeling that you had was really bad. For some of you, this could even be a sister-in-law, but there's some type of in-laws or ex-family whether it's blood family or not, it's like there's some type of energy around you that you don't speak to them anymore, but they're still, trying, they're still trying to fuck with you. I heard they're stressing and they're crying because whatever they tried to send is now going back to them tenfold. It's like this person went and they thought that they were going to be able to harm you. They tried to send you the devil and the devil turned around and backhanded them. 1221, as above, so below. Need I say more? The psychic attack for some of you, you guys have Lilith, is what I'm picking up on with that owl. For some, not all, one, two, three, four, she loves you as part of your spiritual team. Whatever magic they tried to send to hurt you, to conquer you is what I'm getting. Some of these people, I'm hearing some of these dumbasses try to do control dominion spells and all of this backfire, they're blocked. They tried to block your love life, but they didn't know that you were the true witch and it just got returned to sender. Yeah, two pentacles and the nine of wands. Now this person is fucked. But anyways... That's what I have for you, Collective. Let me know if that resonates. You're safe, you're protected. Make sure that you're showing gratitude to your angels, your ancestors, and leaving them offerings because they definitely have your back and they definitely saved you. For those of you who are devotees of Santa Muerte, she has stepped in and protected you as well. Make sure you are leaving her offerings, whether that's candles, candy, water, flowers, but make sure that you are in the energy of gratitude towards your spiritual team, excuse me, because these people are trying to stop you, your enemies, and they were not stopped and your spiritual team is always there protecting you. So that's what I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. And I send you many blessings. Bye, guys.